Hello there, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. My Adobe Audition presets have been upgraded to version 1.3. It's a free upgrade for you if you've already purchased my presets, and if not, go and get them at mrc.fm slash presets. So what's new? Well, first of all, you need to make sure you're using the latest version of Adobe Audition CC. You can check that. It was just released earlier in the week. Adobe Audition CC menu, About Audition, should be on build at least 11.1 right now. Don't worry about the other numbers. As long as the build is 11.1. something, uh, this will work because it's using the brand new Tracks panel that's only just been introduced. And what it does, it quite simply will show and hide different parts of my presets uh, because it's quite overwhelming to start with. Maybe you only need a small part of this panel. So hitting Shift 1 on your keyboard will show you only voice processed along with music and sound effects tracks. Shift 2, only voice processed and music tracks. Great if you're mixing up a commercial or something, you only need to mix voice and music. Shift 3, voice and sound effects. Say you're making a sweeper and you only need the voice processed and sound effects tracks, you can do that. Shift 4 will show you all the voice processed tracks with EQ, chorus, echo, flanger, darken and more. And Shift 5 will take you into the voice auto and music auto tracks. And I'm going to demonstrate this in more detail in just a second. This is great for the auto ducking of music. Again, if building commercials and things like that. All using technology in the brand new tracks panel. As you'll see, when I was clicking those numbers, Numbers, shift 1, Shift 2, Shift 3, Shift 4, the eyeballs are crossing out and hiding different tracks, making it super easy for you to navigate around my presets. Before I show you how the uh, the sidechaining auto-ducking of music uh, works with the brand new view, how do you get back to all the tracks? Good question. Option, Shift and A will get you back to the default view. Option, Shift and A or Alt, Shift and A if you're on a PC. Now let's go to Shift 5. And if I want to zoom in a little bit more, I can click this icon here. You can do this on any view, by the way. Zoom out full all axes or command backslash will get you a nice zoomed view. So let's bring in some voice over here and some music. How about this one going in? If I want to see the voice auto track a bit better, unminimize it by clicking this and then you'll see you can see the waveform at the same size as the music. So I'm just going to trim this for a second pop this over the top of the music and it should by default auto duck the music. Hello fun times, ask staff. So as you can hear it's just pulling the music down a little bit, it's great for building promos and commercials without you having to duck the music yourself. And again, get rid of all the other tracks so you can just focus in on voice auto and music auto tracks. That's my Adobe Audition presets version 1.3, uh, brand new upgrade and a free upgrade if you've already purchased them. Go and grab the presets right now at mrc.fm slash presets. <laughs>